We're in the process of putting in a, a winding staircase in here. There's not much depth this way to deal with, so we have to turn the stairs at the bottom in order to get a decent uh, rise and tread going up. But what we tore out of here, and this, it's a, an old building, uh, the rise was about nine inches, which is really out of the comfort zone. Ideally, you want to be seven and a half, seven to eight inches would be ideal. Uh, I was able to get this one, I think, figured at around eight just over eight inches. Um, so here we go. After doing the tread and ri rise calculation, it came out to um, a rise of eight and an eighth inches. And the cut this way is eight and three eighths of an inch. We'll have um, about half an inch overhang. We're also putting riser and tread. Uh, so this is what we came up with. These, this is really handy too. Once you get it preset, once you get it set to what you want, then you just slide it up and down, draw as many as you want. So we have the stringers cut. We're ready to put them up. I put a couple of screws up here to help set this exactly where we want it. This is the second stringer we're putting up. I haven't tried it. I'm pretty sure it'll fit. of what the riser is going to be looking like. Talked about a couple of options.
there we go, winders, staircase is what it's called. That makes it so you can get around, get all the way up there. These are just uh, temporary until we get done uh, renovating. Let's see if they work. They apparently do. Quite a mess up here. That's the look from up above. The turn came out really well. Ideally, you want to try to get them to look about the same. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this.